incipient buy a rum a buy a rifle before they are banned chicho i think sks are still allowed uh here's the thing uh canada is a total bureaucracy so i don't want to get on the radar of being a gun owner in canada i can defend myself without a gun right i did geophysics i know how to handle a machete i've cleared lines in the bush right and uh when it comes to it uh in a people have said that before you know people say don't bring a knife to a gunfight well it depends on the fucking gunfight because a knife can be way more dangerous than a gun right so because of the bureaucracy i rather not uh, in canada's brutal right and it's a total fascist state right so i don't want to get on their radar uh, for owning a gun right because you would have to register and stuff like this otherwise you're in deep shit uh, so it's it's a fine maneuver in the states if i was in the states i own a shit ton of guns i could tell you that right i mean you will literally get curb stomped by government if you don't have a gun um not necessarily in canada but yeah at some point you could be at some point you could be we're not there yet and if we get close to there we'll have to i'm gonna pack up all the family and all the elders buy a gigantic rv make sure it's got ton of gas <laughs> big tank right make sure we have a destination and take everybody to a fucking piece of land that everybody pulls their money in and has a little cottage you live on the lake and uh, and bunker down for like five ten fifteen years until these fascists die off someone kills them anyway you definitely made a nice space there thanks i despise you despise tomatoes gordy you crazy that's tomatoes are so mushy and gross oh no 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 you haven't had tomatoes done right by you right especially a steak knife not steak knife yeah one with a long curve like machete man everybody should have at least a couple of machetes in their knives and hunting knives hunting knives steak knife is whatever steak knife is for finishing you need a hunting knife katana in the most extreme case <laughs> controllers then how big drink chicho <laughs> leaping <laughs> leaping out of a tree with the bamboo knife in between his teeth i've read too many comic books <laughs> awesome controllers then miss blue knives i've never been comfortable with guns but i've been uh considering getting one i love oregon and i am par uh, appreciative uh, of then experiencing with new laws but there's too many mentally ill drug addicts on the street now i don't feel safe at all yeah miss balloon hands uh, oregon uh, west coast of canada the united states has become a shit show like literally it's become a shit show you have to watch your back be careful be careful all right incipient if uh, in finland we have we have the most guns per capita in eu do you and the eu is literally seething and throwing hard as they can to take all the guns yeah indeed sorry drug so make no sense no it makes sense it made sense yeah yeah for sure they want to take people's guns away there's no doubt right look at what happened in australia a few years ago they took people's guns away because of the church massacre right they took people's guns away and then what do you got oh shit take a look at what the police did to australian citizens in the last four years man they would have thought twice about doing that if people were armed right and you should think twice about doing anything like that and citizens of a country should make sure that police never brutalize their own citizens the way the australian government did australians or the canadian government canadian police the canadians you should have seen some of the videos coming out of canada where you had police officers tackling children tasering them handcuffing them because they were skating ice skating in the winter on a frozen lake playing hockey right 
That's what a fucking Canadian women, two women Canadian police officers did. Man, holy fuck. Holy f- fuck. Right? In the same world? Those two women Canadian police officers? What? I don't know. You tell me what would happen in the same world if they tasered and tackled the kid for ice skating outside in the winter in Canada. Good afternoon, Michael B. Hope you're doing well. Padre, padre, padre. Can you get a bow and arrow? Got to go full ram. <laughs> I thought about it. Miss Bloom's hands. I'm a five foot, um, one inch small woman, so I always have to watch my back. But now it's weird because I feel unsafe, but uh, uh, expected to act like things are normal. Yeah, Miss Bloom's hands don't buy that. No, everything's normal and bullshit. And Miss Bloom's hands, one recommendation I have is um, and you probably know this already, but don't put yourself in dangerous situations, right? I know we should be free to do whatever the fuck we want but these are uh, if you want to think about it unprecedented times I personally don't put myself in dangerous situations anymore so situations that would I would have put myself in without even thinking about it five years ago I don't do that now because it's even dangerous for a motherfucker like me right and I don't want to deal with it so be careful be careful Incipient Twitch zapped you again, but we're gonna allow you to do. I just approved it. I haven't read your comment yet, but it's right there. Look at this. By the way, to get context, Finland is to most schizo countries in the world two times more schizo than Sweden, and Sweden is two times more schizo than UK. Um, and still, Finland has the most guns in eu and also has the largest army in europe so fuck luck invading five million schizophrenics and you have amazing death metal right <laughs> yeah no need for unnecessary risk no need for unnecessary risk indeed and gang do not forget do not forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange publishing journalist that has been crucified for trying to make transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity something that we desperately need in our societies for more information see wikileaks.org candles for assange.com stella assange's substack channel or countless resources that are available on free speech platforms salute to julian again Stuka, yeah, they will come at you to grab your kitchen knives. Yeah, the powers that be want martial law, they want martial law 100%. 100% law, Burke and Chase, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Baby, nice. If Trump wins this year, Assange will be free. Hopefully, man, if Trump wins this year, if he doesn't, if he doesn't free Assange in the first week, fucking piece of shit, right. 